Hi, this is Janice from PinayInvestor.com. Today, I'll show you how to check your SSS contributions using Mozilla Firefox. I have been receiving a lot of comments and private messages and emails from my readers on my blog and from those who have watched my videos here on YouTube and most of them were saying that they were not able to check their contributions online even after following the instructions and tips that I showed on my video. I actually agree because I've been trying to check my contributions online and I haven't been able to log into my account for a couple of weeks now. I'm not sure if there's something wrong with the site or if it's kind of updating or if there was something wrong with my PC or on how I access the website. I have always used Internet Explorer when I access the SSS website because that's what they recommend and I never had any problems using Internet Explorer before. However, in the past few days, I couldn't even log into my online account even if I was typing in the correct login or user ID and password. And just a few minutes ago, just before I created this video, I tried to log in to my SSS account using Mozilla Firefox and for some reasons, I was able to log in successfully. I tried it again using a different account and it worked as well. So I thought of creating this video to show you how I did it and hopefully this Time, I'd be able to log into my SSS account again as I show you this video. So first of all you need to click on Mozilla because that's what we're going to use to access the website. If you're not familiar with Mozilla Firefox, it's another web browser that we use to browse websites on the internet and it's similar to Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Opera, or Safari. Once Mozilla Firefox is open, we need to type sss.gov.ph on the address bar up here. And on this site, we need to enter our user ID and password. Make sure you enter the correct information before you click on Submit. I'm doing it live right now and as you have seen, it loaded pretty quickly. Now I'm going to hover my mouse over eServices and under that, I'm going to click on Inquiry. As you can see, this advisory came up on my screen and it's saying if the online inquiry page of this website display blank page, you are using an unsupported browser. Click the button to view instructions on temporarily changing the security settings. So we're going to click on view instructions and this is what's going to come up. So to be able to access the inquiry using Mozilla Firefox, you need to follow these instructions. I'm going to skip on this because I've already tried that earlier. So I'm going to go back to the SSS page. So just hit OK on this advisory. And here's what we're going to do. Take a closer look at my screen and I'll show you the next steps. First, we need to click this shield icon right beside this left arrow on the address bar of the browser. And it says here that Firefox is blocking content on this page. So we need to click on Options and click on Disable Protection for now. So here we go. Now it's showing my employee static information with all my personal information on the screen. And the next step is to hover our mouse over Member Info and click on Actual Premiums underneath that. And here it is. I can now see my contributions from 2007 when I started working and paying for my SSS contributions up until the current year which is 2015 and the last payment that was showing was for March because I just paid my contribution yesterday and I'm hoping that my payment for April, May and June the last quarter will be posted by next week. If you have time, please visit PinayInvestor.com. I just published my latest post on how to pay and where to pay your SSS contributions. And again, I'm doing this real time. It's Saturday, July 11, 2015, and it's 9.15 p.m. on my time. So I was able to access my SSS online account, and I hope you'll be able to access yours too. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them down below at the comment section. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel at Pinay Investor and please visit my blog at PinayInvestor.com.